Hello and welcome to Reinfuse. Today is just a very quick unboxing. So I've got two puzzles here. You can't, you can just about see this one, but you can't see this one here. Uh, they're both from the same person, from one of my uh, Patreons called Pete. Um, and one is just some random stuff for the channel. And the other one is a console that I've done a swap for. It's one of the consoles I wanted for a while. So it's good. He's getting a console that he's wanted for a while as well. So <laughs> it all works out well. Um, I don't know which is which. There is an X on one, but I don't know if that specifies it's the console or not. I'm guessing not because the console won't be that big. But I'm going to open up this small one here anyway first. So let me get to it. Okay, uh, so I've undone the box. So yeah, I think this is the console and the kind of belizer we got it from. Uh, there's also this. I'm not being kidnapped. This isn't some kind of thing. This is <laughs> this was in the box. Uh, so uh, from. April 13th, 1982, which uh, is kind of cool. <laughs> Kansas City Star. So, I'll keep that, I think. Let's uh, take this wrapping out. There's not much room. This is quite a big console and this box is taken up. <laughs> a bit more room there, there we go, a little bit more room. Uh, yeah, so this is the Coleco Telstar Arcade. Uh, it's an interesting machine. It's got lots of stuff built in, like it's got a steering wheel. So car racing stuff built in this side over here it's got this viewfinder thing not sure oh that's the holster viewfinder thing it's the holster for the gun there we go uh, <laughs> so yeah so things for gun uh light gun games here and then the kind of paddle controls for your more traditional pong games an interesting machine uh, it is cartridge based because obviously one of my rules is I, I really have cartridge based machines but this is because this has got actual cartridges as well and there are these interesting triangular shaped things which is uh pretty cool <laughs> it's unlikely i'll be able to get more games through it but i'll certainly try uh this one contains road race uh tennis and quick draw so one game for each thing. I think there are other cartridges. I'm pretty sure there are. Uh, yeah, nice uh, addition to the collection. Okay, the power supply as well. So uh, we'll get that working. Uh, once we get it working, we'll also investigate doing some kind of composite because I don't fancy getting this working on RF. <laughs> right, I'll move it out of the way and then we'll start on this bigger box. Ah, first of all, we got a data switch box, which is kind of interesting. It's got some Centronic style ports on the back. So presumably for, I guess, mostly printers, but well, it says data, so, and if they're Centronics, there's no reason why it couldn't be other SCSI devices in there. Kind of cool. Nothing else, the uh, rather fancy metal box would certainly come in handy. Okay, so there's this, which is the Compact by Ultratech. Oh, so, Okay, well, this is some kind of acoustic coupler. There should be more foam around here, I assume. Um, a lot of the audience here will be too young to know what an acoustic coupler is. <laughs> Basically, you, you could cradle a handset here and then you could dial using this keypad, presumably sending messages as well, by the looks of it. So, some kind of uh, data communication device. That's very cool. I will certainly be covering that, or at least. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take, certainly take a look at that at some point. Yeah. Okay, so this is some kind of, uh, it's like a knockoff Mega Drive game. It's very light. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Pink Edition. Interesting. So it's like a hacked ROM, possibly. That'd be interesting to try out. Uh, and a, uh, a Switch key ring. That's really nice. I need to get it in the light. There we are. One light source, unfortunately. It's really heavy as well. That's really <laughs> nice quality. And my keyring is just broken. So that's kind of handy. Well, these are two exceptionally interesting things and definitely things that I will be covering at some point. So this is uh, an Arduino, but well, it's an Arduino Apple One replica. Uh, and this is a Science Cambridge Mark 14 replica. The Mark 14 is basically what preceded the ZX range of computers uh, for uh, well, Sinclair, but before it was called Sinclair. So that's incredibly interesting. Um, yeah, we'll definitely see if we can put this one together on the channel at some point. 
And this is, uh, yeah, this is exceptionally interesting. I guess we need a ROM chip and a logic, one of the logic, logic chips there. I got, what's that? Uh, HCT00, I've got those, I've got plenty of those. So, yeah, oh, very interesting anyway. We will uh, cover those. You can't get pretty good light, sorry. It's where I am. I've chose a really bad place to do this. Oh my word. A, uh, an un unopened copy of Microsoft Works. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this in a box before. Um, this was basically like the, the office suite you used to get for free with some computers. Like I bought a Packard Bell, I think it was, and it came with this pre-installed. Uh, so I've never seen one in a box before. That's really interesting. <laughs> oh, no, that's fantastic. I, I will keep that, and that will be going on my shelf somewhere. The ones that aren't collapsing. Oh, that's quite interesting. So these are two HP SAS drives. So these would normally be used in like blade servers and stuff. Um, I've never actually seen one before. My days in uh, server-based technology kind of finished with the deck vax. So <laughs> I've never seen them, but they're really interesting devices. So are they? It looks like SCSI. Is it SCSI based? I don't know, I don't know much about SAS. I will admit. Uh, I will investigate those, see what I can do with them, because that'd be kind of interesting anyway. But an interesting uh, knick-knack nonetheless. Thank you. <laughs> oh my word. So this is a, the, the fishing controller for the PlayStation, I'm guessing by the buttons and the, and the connector. I didn't realize, because I've got the one for the Dreamcast, I didn't realize the PlayStation had one. That's, uh, I will now have to find a fishing game <laughs> for the PlayStation. <laughs> and is it the, the kind of slightly odd, I guess they've tried to make the buttons look, look different, but if we can, you can see those again, the light is not great. I apologize. It's kind of, um, it's like almost like the recycling <laughs> logo for the, for the triangle button. I'll bring that really close. Possibly you can see that. I don't know. Uh, PS2. Oh, that's, that's even easier for the PS2. Uh, literally says it on the back. Uh, really, oh, okay, so now I've got to find a fishing game, plainly, and I'll do a video on that at some point. Ah, right, so uh, an Asus E laptop. So these are like these old laptop notebook things. Uh, I think they've basically got kind of like built-in uh, storage of 32 megs or something of special RAM stuff that kind of pre predated uh, solid state drives. Um, very interesting. The good thing about laptops, even if they don't work, they tend to have a bunch of components that are just useful to have, like the screen, if nothing else. So it'd be interesting. I will obviously try to get this powered up before we do anything with it, because it's always interesting. This is really interesting. One of the real signs you've got a really old piece of technology is when the rubber feet are sticking to everything. <laughs> and the coloration, of course. Uh, yeah, so this is a Teletext adapter from the BBC Micro. Um, so that's kind of interesting. That's a serial connector, and that's the power connector. That BBCs have like a little power block underneath to power external devices. And so you can stick the an aerial in the back, and you just about see that probably. And uh, yeah, get Teletext up on the BBC Micro, because uh, that's obviously BBC Micro and Teletext are kind of entwined in many ways. Oh well, well this is incredibly generous. I mean, it's all generous, but this especially so. So uh, an Acon Electron, of course, uh, BBC's baby brother. Uh, my one is broken. I'm in the middle of fixing it. Uh, so either this one works or between the two of them, I'll be able to get a working Electron. Uh, which is fantastic, because I've just got the elk cartridge, <laughs> so I would like to try it. Uh, yeah, wow, I'm blown away by that. I mean, well, I'm blown away by receiving anything from people, but um, that one especially. Oh, and there's a nice big box here as well left, okay. Ah. An Ace Tronic. So, these were of the kind of breed of, um, is that the original set of tape? I don't know. I'll try to get it off without damaging the, the cardboard. Gently. 
there we go yeah so these are the kind of a, a breed of console from early days uh mostly in europe although they they did turn up other places as well um and they're kind of all based around the same architecture to the point where the cartridges are mostly compatible except they made them different sizes and things like that so this is interesting this is the telesports 4 i think i've got a telesports 3 somewhere and they are cartridge machines it still follows <laughs> my rules <laughs> um and yeah they come with they mostly all come with these funky style controllers which like the uh the truly bad uh, atari joystick doesn't um self-center but uh they're palm machines so it kind of makes a bit more sense non centering thing and uh, yeah they came with a cartridge as well that's fantastic <laughs> right well that's all of it um you know i'll change to a front view before i there we go uh we're back to kind of less more even but slightly darker light because i turned off the main light and you get to see my prince voltan uh, t-shirt as well uh <laughs> I mean, I'm blown away by that. Um, the yeah, the I mean, I'm blown away by the Coleco, which is something I've technically paid for because I'm swapping a console over. Uh, I won't tell you which one because you may want to not put, to know that, but it's absolutely a fair trade. I will say that. Um, but the other stuff is is amazing, the Electron especially. But the other things are, are really interesting. There's a lot of stuff there which uh, I can certainly make videos from, which is always good. Um, so yeah, really, absolutely, thanks to Pete. I'll put his Twitter handle in the uh in the description so uh, you go follow him really good guy very much into his retro stuff as well uh and yeah again just a pleasant person as well so <laughs> absolutely follow him uh you anyway thanks uh for watching uh it's just a very quick video for me anyway so less than 20 minutes hopefully um if you like the video please hit like if you really like the video please hit subscribe if you didn't like the video or you have something else to say then please leave it in the comments below uh don't forget to hit the bell icon somewhere it's like the safety dance um and you can join our patreon or the membership on uh youtube to get early access to videos and also exclusive videos as well it's a few videos we don't release outside of the group so some stuff that uh either is kind of personal to the group or it, or it just isn't something i want to make a full video of but i want to tell people about so yeah it's hard to you know what anyway go and check and it's fine <laughs> uh, and yeah uh if you anything you've seen here that you'll particularly like to be covered then stick it in the uh, comments below and i will absolutely try to prioritize getting towards that uh, obviously the coleco will definitely be up on that list as soon as i can uh, get the composite mode working i will get it if we can't get it working with rf then we'll do it on rf but that's we would absolutely try to get the composite working as well and we'll be getting a crt so we can test the light down because of course we will <laughs> that's part of it's it was um the fun part of that machine is it's all the different modes it's got i'm rambling now let's just end this see you next time the present is horrible the future looks bleak remember our childhood to get us through the week we're getting re-enthused Back to the past and the things we used We all know that our pasts were great Escaping the things that today we hate Getting re-enthused Getting re-enthused Getting re-enthused